Fresh data points to a worsening outlook for the Eurozone. Factory output fell at its fastest rate since 2009. And a top EU official says Spain's deficit reduction forecasts may be overly optimistic. Jack Barton reports. Eurozone industrial production has experienced its biggest slump since 2009, according to official EU figures released on Wednesday. Output in the 17 countries that use the euro fell by 2.5% in September, while the slowdown in GDP for Greece and Portugal accelerated in the third quarter. Many analysts saw the figures as further proof that Europe needs stimulus and not more austerity. Debt is no longer the heart of the matter here. It is growth. And I think that's where the emphasis needs to be placed. It was a sentiment echoed across the single currency area, gripped by strikes and protests on Wednesday. The sad truth is that the austerity programs that these people are demonstrating against have only really just begun and will dig much deeper in the years to come. In Greece alone, there is still 110,000 public sector jobs to be cut, which will weigh even heavier on record unemployment for that country and the Eurozone as a whole. And on Wednesday, there was also an admission from EU officials that Spain's current deficit reduction targets will be tough to reach. They stem partly from an optimistic macroeconomic scenario underlying the 2013 budget and uh, partly from the optimistic uh, projections uh, for social security. The latest fall in manufacturing does not bode well for the area's GDP figures to be released on Thursday, which are now expected to show a second straight contraction across the Eurozone for the third quarter. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.